Okay, guys, we're doing the top five new image titles for 2017. So what does that mean? Because I'm going to do one that says ongoing. So new, this one is only the titles that are new in the series that just started in 2017. Now, a couple of these started in 2016, but the first arc uh, or the first graphic novel came out in 2017. So I am doing it by the graphic novel release date. And the reason why is because to me, that is when most people on Image read it. Also, it's a great point of like, that's the first arc when it was released for the series. If you disagree, that's great. You can make your own list below. But here's my list of 2017's best Image graphic novels that were released. Let's go. Coming in at number five is going to be Extremity. Uh, this one was actually uh, a bit of a surprise. I kept hearing a lot of things like, oh, it's Mad Max uh, meets more of like a fantasy type of story. And for me, that's actually kind of what you get. Now, I have been on record saying I didn't love Mad Max from 2015 or whatever it came out, but it was good. This is very similar, but it has a lot more emotional stakes in it, more of a story. Um, I really enjoyed a lot of the art in this. I thought the art was the highlight of it. It looked great. It was magnificent at some shots. Some of these splash pages were amazing. And it also moved at a really good pace. The only really thing I didn't love is I didn't get attached to anyone yet, but it is the beginning of the saga. There's more to come. But as like a standalone awesome start, I think Extremity did really well to get you captured into a fantasy Mad Max type of world. And it's definitely giving us a, a, an interesting take on something that we've seen before. So definitely check out Extremity. It is one of the better image tiles I read this year. Coming in at number four is Royal Guard. Um, I really like this one. This is about a, a group of people who are just kind of like... I guess like agents of some sort and they're immortal uh, and it's really cool because they connect uh, throughout the various thousands of years they live. Some lived hundreds, some have lived thousands and they connect and all work together because they have to watch each other's backs. However, of course, their secret is exposed and I'm not going to say how, but it happens and it, this story is a lot of twists and turns, a lot of gory fight scenes. Uh, it is a modern day kind of agent, like it, it's like James Bond meets fucking crazy psycho immortal warriors it, it's it's really hard to explain because it's something like I, I haven't really seen before and greg rucker the writer has done stories like this before like lazarus and stuff so i really enjoyed this one it's fast paced the battles are great the dialogue is uh nice hard hitting and easy to get through and i actually really do like the characters uh the art well i really do enjoy it at times can be a little iffy because there's a lot of shading a lot of dark spots but overall this is something you should check out just for the sheer fact that that it is insanity and sometimes that's what you need in a book coming at number three we're gonna dial it back from all the crazy fighting and stuff to talk about royal city royal city is the slice of life book the book that you kind of sit down you read and you're like damn that shit is life i don't know if anybody else says that i maybe only me but royal city is really an enjoyable life book um it's about a guy who comes back to the city that he grew up in and kind of deals with his family drama and it's it's nothing like super surprising there's no huge twist it's just a dude kind of dealing with a midlife crisis dealing with his sister and her fight with her husband and taking over a business his mother his father who's had a heart attack all these things are coming together and it just makes a really enjoyable well-written awesome type of book to read that's different than anything else in my opinion on this list also you got the fact that it's jeff lemire and jeff lemire is one of the best writers right now he is almost more always hits than misses there's some misses but overall you gotta check it out because jeff lemire when he writes just down to earth human stories he very rarely misses and this one has to be picked up check out royal city it's worth checking out Coming in at number two is Redneck. Now, this is a recent one I read, and I am so glad I did because now um, this guy is on my list. I believe his name is Danny Coates or Donnie Coates. I might be saying his name wrong, but he is awesome. He is writing this story about vampires. Now, listen, I am not a big vampire fan. I am not a big zombie fan, but when it's done well, this shit can be epic, and this is done real well. You're going back to a real, like, redneck area that is just, you know, 
southern to its fucking core. And this family who is all vampires just wants to be left alone. But something happens. The, tur the turning, the twist, the knobs or whatever you want to call it are all turning and twisting. And shit is just getting real. It is really kind of like a mystery the first half, or actually most of it, of what is happening, who did what, how this went, and then by the end, you're kind of set up for, what are we going to do now? I really thought the pacing was great, the dialogue was awesome, I really enjoy the art, it's sketchy, but it works for this type of book, and there's a lot of moments that just made me go, damn, this is good, so, this is a book you should really check out if you want, like, fast pace, awesome action, great dialogue, and some really cool different art, I definitely would recommend Redneck. Coming in at number one is Kill or Be Kill. Now, I've had this on my list before. Also, it did start in 2016, but the first graphic novel came out in 2017 in January, and the second one came out earlier this year as well, and the third one's coming out at the end of this month, actually. And uh, I really love Kill or Be Kill. The reason I'm putting it on my 2017 list is I, f I feel, I didn't read it till 2017, but I feel like most people didn't either. Image is mostly known for graphic novels. That's when people buy it the most. And it came out in January. So it's on my list. Anyway, saying that, fuck semantics. This book is is a must read. This is probably top three books of the year for me. Kill or Be Killed is about a dude who is just down on his luck. He's ready to die because he hates everything. He goes to kill himself and the devil's like, no, 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 buddy. You can't kill yourself. I'm making a deal with you. You live as long as you kill people. And he's like, what? I'm not going to kill anybody. I'm not a killer. So then he starts going after people who deserve to die. And that's where the story really comes into play is who deserves to die and who deserves to live? What is your right to say this person deserves to die? And the book is highly entertaining. It is gritty, noir, crime. It is so well done. It's by the two best in the business, Ed Brubaker and Sean Phillips. These guys just kill it. I mean, no pun unintended if you've read criminals i mean uh, th these guys are just great at crime drama and this is one of the greatest books of the year for me the dialogue is on point the characters are all interesting and the artwork is phenomenal you have to be checking out kill or be killed this is probably one of the best books of the year overall but it's definitely my favorite new image title so go check it out and that really just sums up my list for the new titles for Image in 2017. I'm going to make an ongoing list because there's a lot of titles that have been going on for a couple of years now that I think they had deserved their own video. But for new titles, these are all worth checking out. They could all be bought right now. They all have their first trade, second trade, and even time you watch this, maybe third or fourth trade. So check it out. And everybody, I want you to list some titles from Image that you really enjoyed because I didn't get to check out everything this year and I want to. So please list them below so I can do that. And everybody else, just have a wonderful day. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. Please hit the share button. And I love you all.